Greetings and welcome to the Relationality Podcast. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry, your host and certified relationship coach. In each episode, I will be sharing real and relative truths on love and dating to help prepare and position Christian singles for a fulfilling romantic relationship. So ladies and fellas, if you are dating and waiting, you've come to the right place. So get ready to grow and lay some groundwork for a successful marriage. Hey y'all, in this episode, we will be talking about dating by default or dating deliberately. As like any other area in our lives, we all desire success when it comes to a love relationship and ultimately, of course, marriage. But in order to get a certain result, you have to make certain choices, right? And there's a false belief system going around that dating is for trial and error. And that's simply not true. God does not want anyone to spend their life in trial and error. I mean, God has our best interest in mind. He has your best interest in mind. He wants the best for you. And he don't want you to waste your your life in trial and error, even when it comes to dating. In 2 Peter 1, 3, the Bible says that God has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. And so God has given us standards for healthy living, and that includes dating. He wouldn't give us, you know, standards for other areas of our life and then leave out love and dating. And so if you don't know what the standards are for dating, study his standards for marriage. The standards for marriage are the same as the standards for dating because dating should lead to marriage, right? We're not dating just for entertainment. We're dating to be married, And God doesn't change. And so if he doesn't change, that means his principles don't either. But what happens is we try to make his standards fit our situation. But God does not conform to us. We have to convert unto him. The purpose of dating is to become intimately one with each other. Not physically, but spiritually. And dating is a time of growing a friend, not a lover or a sex partner. It's where you focus on the spiritual, not the physical. And so if there's no agreement at the spiritual level, there would definitely be problems in other areas because at the spiritual level, we should be able to have a spiritual conversation. You should be able to have a spiritual conversation with that person. And what I mean by this is being able to discuss where you are in your relationship with God and the other person should be able to do the same. This is where you both can discuss God's dealings and directions for your life. It's where you can discuss your salvation and your commitment to living for Christ. And y'all, this is one of the areas that would trip me up or that have tripped me up a few times in my dating experiences because I met a few guys who they said they were saved and was all about God and they were committed to going to church. But as time went on, I found out that they were committed to Christ. And so it's one thing to be committed to the church and it's another thing to be committed to Christ. Because when you are committed to Christ, there will be some conversion. There's going to be some change. And a lot of people, they confess salvation, but there's no conversion. They still living like the world, talking like the world, believing like the world and acting like the world. And so y'all make sure that they offer real save whoever you are deciding to date. Because as a believer, our number one goal should be to conform into the image of Christ. And so as you conform there's going to be some evidence of conversion. And you you would know this by how they talk. You would know by what the person is saying out of their mouth because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you can tell a person's way by what they say. So if the person you are pursuing cannot communicate on a spiritual level, the conversation is done. Conversation over. You know how they say one and done? Well, this is one of those situations. If we can't talk at the spiritual level, ain't no need for us to try at the intellectual level. Conversation is over. So when it comes to dating, there are only two choices. You will either choose to date deliberately or by default. So how do you date by deliberate choice? That is a great question. You are deliberate by setting and sticking to your standards without compromise. Your standards should be God's standards. 
And if you don't know God's standards, look to the scriptures because the scriptures are his standards. So just like we plan for success in other areas of our lives, so it is for dating. You got to plan for success in your dating life. Otherwise, it won't happen. It ain't going to happen, Captain. Because success hardly ever happens by osmosis. There has to be a plan. And without planning and without wisdom, there will be failure. And then after you make some plans, you got to follow God in order for those plans to succeed. Proverbs 19.21 says, In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. So you got to be deliberate by planning and pursuing God for the execution of those plans. And when you are not deliberate in your dating by following God's standards, you would default to the world's standards. And we don't want that. And this is what makes finding a life partner a choice in its truest sense. I mean, out of all the people that you know or you may come across or you may be friends with, out of all the possibilities, you know, that that's before you, you deliberately choose one person with whom you wish to spend the rest of your life with. I mean, this is not a haphazard head in the clouds type of choice, but it's deliberate. It's a sober, like my feet is planted, like they say, on the solid rock. On Christ I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, like your feet is firmly planted and you are making a firm, deliberate, sober decision. And it is reaching this place is where you approach another person and say deliberately with confidence, I choose you. So ladies and fellas, do not date by default. Be deliberate in your dating. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Before you go, make sure you share and subscribe to the podcast at GwendolynGlobal.com slash podcast. So you'll get all the new episodes as soon as they drop. And one more thing. I want to know what's on your heart. So hit me up with any ideas or questions you have on love and dating. I'm happy to share some of the top requests and respond to some top questions in upcoming episodes. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Dr. Gwendolyn Henry. Meet me next week for another episode of Relationality.